Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Cullivan, and today is day four of week one of unit five. This is our last day. Tomorrow is your vocabulary test. So let's see how much you've been paying attention all week and how well you know these words. You ready? Look at this picture. What do you think this is a picture of? This is begin. This is the day beginning. As the sun starts to rise, it's the beginning of the day. And beginning means to start. Very good. Take a look at this picture. What do you think this picture could be? This is the daytime. The time between the sunrise and the sunset is called the day. Here's our next picture. You remember what this is? End. That's right. We talked about start and then end. Start something and then end it. Start and finish. End means the last part of something. When something is finished, it has ended. Hmm. These pictures are what? The earth, the planet that we live on. Hmm. What are these pictures of? The moon. That's right. This is our moon. And sometimes the moon looks a little different in the sky. How about this? This is night. The time between sunset and sunrise is the night time. Do you remember what these are called? Shadows. That's right. When your your body or your hand or something blocks the light from the sun shining or a flashlight, any kind of light, it makes a shadow. Very good. What are these things, those little shiny things up in the sky? Those are stars. Large balls of gas. And from Earth, the stars look like points of light in this night sky. They look like light because they're burning, right? How about this one? Do you remember this word? It's kind of a grown-up word. Up here to come into sight. How about this? These people are in motion. Those words were in motion, too. They were moving. Very good. What are these kiddos doing? Observe, and that means they are watching. To watch something is to observe it. Hmm, this is kind of interesting picture. It's a pattern. It repeats over and over and over again. That makes it a pattern. What is that parrot doing? The little boy says, hello, and the parrot says, hello. He's repeating. He's doing or saying the same thing. All right. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we talked about complete sentences. And then we talked about statements ending in a period. And we talked about questions ending in a question mark. So here is a story that says, hi, Grandma. Thank you very much for the fleece jacket. Can you guess where I am going to wear it? Our class is going to the farm next Saturday. It might be cold, so I will wear my new fleece jacket. Who told you blue was my favorite color? I bet it was Dad. Love, Marcy. Now you can see there's some lines there, and that's because the periods and the question marks are missing. So go back and reread this and decide where the periods and the question marks go. Good luck, boys and girls. Thanks for listening. I'll see you later. Bye.